Hey, welcome everyone back to a new episode and in today's episode we are actually going to be breaking down Cyberpunk's new patch 1.5. Now in this patch there are a few new updates such as uh, there are some customizations that can happen for your apartment so you can kind of play sims in your apartment and another thing might be the customization for weapons, uh, maybe some aesthetic changes, you can change the look of your weapon and maybe a few game mechanic changes. But today, the most important update that I'm focusing on is the fact that FSR is finally being enabled and there seems to be a few more performance patches. So today we're actually going to check out those performances and see is your 6700 XT strong enough to run ray tracing at 1440p or even at 1080p using the new FSR. So let's go and check it out. Now, first of all, I'm riding through Night City and my current settings are at 1440p uh, using no FSR and there is no ray tracing enabled. And currently we are sitting at a snug 45 frames per second and we are currently climbing up to maximum 60 frames per second. Sometimes it does dip down to 41 frames per second, but on average I think we are sitting comfortably between 45 to 50 frames per second. Now, to me, this would be a perfectly good playable experience as I think Cyberpunk, you don't need the most amount of frames to enjoy this game. I think anywhere close to that 60 frames per second mark is basically the golden zone. As we get out of the city, we are now sitting on about 75 to 80 frames per second and that's perfect. This game looks very crisp, it looks clean and yeah, I would say it looks flawless. Okay, so the next setting I actually wanted to do was put on ray tracing. So ray tracing is going to be set to medium with reflections and shadows both put on. So we're going to test it with no FSR just so that we can get a kind of a benchmark. Okay, so here we're back in the scene and we are currently sitting at a good 16 FPS. Climbing to a maximum of 20 FPS. So with medium ray tracing settings with no FSR enabled, I would say that this game is unplayable. I would not want to play this game as it looks like a bit of a hyper slideshow. Uh, for me, unplayable. But this is good, we kind of have a benchmark. So we know uh, on average maybe about 18 frames per second using medium ray tracing settings. So let's see if FSR gives us any more frames. Okay, back in the settings menu, we are going to go to Fidelity FX Super Resolution and we are going to put it on to Ultra Quality Mode. Now, the reason why I'm not going down to Quality or Balanced Mode is because I think that the image looks terrible and it's very, very blurry. So it's not really worth having anything lower than Ultra Quality Mode. Okay, so back in game, yes, we have got a bit of an upliftment. So we are currently sitting at about 30 frames per second to 27 frames per second. So I would guess that there's about a 30% upliftment in performance using FSR on quality mode. On quality mode, you still have a very crisp image. So I would say that this is probably the best setting that you can have for FSR. Unfortunately, the frame rate being at 25 frames per second now that's unplayable for me and I would say that it might not be playable for you either. The 1% lows seem to be better. I have a lot less frame stuttering and the game seems to look a lot more smooth. But at 25 to 30 frames per second, it is borderline unplayable. Okay, so the next setting I want to do is actually put on dynamic resolution scaling. And uh, this is where you can actually set the minimum resolution to the maximum resolution and the targeted frames per second. So let's see if I can put a 60 frames per second or let's go to 55 frames per second and the minimum scaling we can push it down to maybe 60 and we can go 100 to maximum and see does that actually give us 55 frames per second? Hmm, I'm not sure. Let's test it out. Okay, so we definitely have an upliftment in performance here, but I can see that the image is noticeably more blurry. It is possibly better than just going on normal quality or balanced mode. 
but it is very blurry and it's not very good. I think I'm losing a lot of detail in this picture. But we are definitely getting more frames. Whoa. But yeah, currently hovering at about 30 frames per second. 33 frames per second. It's not that good. I suppose when you go outside of Night City, you probably get a lot more frames. Okay, so the next test that I'd like to perform is to see, does FSR actually give you an upliftment in performance if there is no ray tracing enabled? So if you're just running on standard vanilla mode. So currently I'm running standard with no FSR enabled and we are currently hovering about 81 to 80 frames per second. So that's a good benchmark to see. Does FSR actually give us a little bit more extra performance? Well, let's have a look. Okay, so for FSR, I'm going to be putting it on the ultra quality preset as I think it will give us the best use case scenario. So let's go and put it onto ultra quality and see, does it really give us much of an upliftment in performance? Okay, so here we are in the exact same scene and we definitely have an increase in performance. We have up to 97 frames per second. So yeah, that's, that's a bit of a big pump up in performance. I must say, visually, there is not much difference. Um, there might be a little bit of blurriness, but the picture is still very crisp and very sharp. So I would say that uh, this is a very viable way of playing the game. Just to use uh, Fidelity FX, maybe just on Ultra preset. It's definitely giving us a good frame rate. I mean, 94 to 95 frames per second and the quality is on medium over all of the presets. So except for there is no ray tracing enabled, as I said before. So yeah, this is looking good, promising. I mean, we're getting almost at 100 frames per second and that's great. Okay, so the last test that I want to do is actually run the game at 1080p. Uh, imagine somebody has a 6700 XT at home, but only has a 1080p monitor. So what results can you possibly expect using just 1080p? So currently there is no FSR and there is no ray tracing enabled and we are currently still on the medium preset for the game. So now I am actually going to put on ray tracing. Uh, we're going to be setting everything on reflections as well as shadows and we're going to be putting the ray tracing lighting up to medium. Just to give us a bit of a good experience of what ray tracing could be, uh, let's go and see what that's like. Okay, and instantly we've taken a massive hit in performance. So we're hovering at 30 frames per second. So it doesn't look like it gives you much more performance than it does in 1440p. So I think if you have a 6700 XT at home, it might be best to run your games at 1440p if you can get a 1440p monitor. The difference in performance between 1080p and 1440p is very little. It's probably about 5%, maybe 10% in some areas. So I would say that if you have a 1440p monitor, it's definitely best to run the resolution of this game at 1440p as you're getting so much more resolution and the game looks a lot more crisp and there is such a little difference in actual performance. Okay, now with ray tracing on, I actually want to go and put FSR on. We're going to be setting it to the ultra quality setting again and see, does that give us much of a performance increase? Okay, so here we are with FSR enabled and currently we are hovering at about 42 frames per second. Now FSR, as I said, is set to the ultra quality preset. So the image looks pretty similar to the way it looks like without ultra quality put on. So it looks good. I, I would say this is definitely playable at 42 frames per second as well as ray tracing being put onto medium settings. So what I'm going to do now is actually go and take a drive and see what does the frame dip down to. Okay, so driving through the city, uh, we are currently on 37 frames per second, 36 frames per second. I definitely think this is playable using ray tracing. You do get a nice like global illumination, color bleeding happening. So that is kind of nice. As you can see the red bleeding onto the character and the bike. So that's really nice. So if you guys are really hell bent on playing this game with the ray tracing on, I guess it is viable using a 6700 XT. 
you're just going to have to play at 34 frames per second sometimes 33 and you guys are going to have to be playing at full uh, 1080p 1440p uh, this performance dips down to about 25 26 frames per second so I would say that that's unplayable but this being at 35 to 38 frames per second that is definitely playable the game looks pretty smooth it looks kind of nice the resolution looks sharp enough so the FSR is not too much not too overpowering so yes you can run this game using <laughs> uh, ray tracing but is it recommended I don't know that's going to be up to you guys to decide okay conclusion guys and my conclusion to this game is the 6700 XT just doesn't have enough juice to run this game with ray tracing enabled even if you're running at 1080p yeah you can run at 1080p you might have to put down all of your settings way down actually a disable shadows as well as reflections you might be able to get a pretty decent FPS going but at that cost your image looks pretty terrible and I think your gameplay really suffers so if you're wanting to get the most out of your 6700 XT, I think running the game at 1440p is definitely much better than running at a 1080p as there is, it's a very little difference between performance. Um, if you're running on ray tracing, yes, there is a much bigger performance difference running on 1440 compared to 1080. But if you're running standard vanilla mode, I would say running on 1440p is definitely the best option. I think another thing, if you are running the game, run on uh, FSR and put it on the ultra quality mode. Uh, it definitely gives you a good performance increase and the quality looks pretty similar to how it is just standard. So this is currently now running at 1440p. Uh, FSR is on ultra quality mode and there is no ray tracing enabled and the picture is perfect and we're getting a very representable 66 to 70 frames per second up to 74 sometimes up to 80 even 90 frames per second this is the best way that you're going to be able to play this game so right now I would say in cyberpunk using ray tracing settings it's absolutely not worth it using the 6700 XT maybe if you had a something a little bit bigger like a 6800 XT I would say that that's probably going to be your best option trying to run this game with ray tracing on. I think even in that case you would still have to run with FSR on. Uh, there's no ways that you're going to be able to run this game without FSR. Maybe you could run this game using a 6900 XT uh, but I mean that's that's a really expensive card. <laughs> uh, I would still use FSR in that case because it would definitely give you a slight performance increase. So anyway guys, tell me what you think. Do you have an AMD card at home? Or are you using a uh, NVIDIA card? And if you are using an NVIDIA card, what is the difference using DLSS? I think uh, you'd be able to get a better performance out of DLSS as I think DLSS is a lot more crisp and clean. But anyway guys, thank you so much. Like and sub and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.